Hi, I'm David the Bruce. Visual Hollywood and boy, do I have a story for you about Kathleen Turner and her attitudes about a male-dominated film culture. Yes, now oh, Kathleen Turner, as you know, has been around quite some time in Hollywood, and she's done some remarkable films like *Romancing the Stone*. Remember that with Michael Douglas? Ah, sure do. And um, how about um, uh, Peggy Sue Got Married? Do you remember that one? Well, that was her, and she uh, starred in it along with Nicolas Cage. You know him. But anyway, so um, this this uh, article uh, done by the Fangirls, spelled G-R-R-L-S, Geek Like a Girl is their subtitle, uh, in uh, Sci-Fi Wire. Uh, there was this remarkable um, article, and it was entitled, Fangirls on Film, Peggy Sue Got Married, and Kathleen Turner, Our I-D-G-A-F Queen. Yes. <laughs> now, <clears throat> you know what uh, I-D-G-A-F means, don't you? Well... It means I don't give a F. Yeah, that's what it means. And boy, she is, in the, in the article, which is based on her interview uh, that she did with Vulture, it, she is pointed. Um, it should also be noted that um, the best films and not so good films are, are rated by uh, men, generally. 73% of the critics on... Um, Rotten Tomatoes, that's where you go to read reviews. Rotten Tomatoes. 73% of the reviewers, movie reviewers, are men. It is terrible. And men often overlook women. You know, they're not females, they don't identify. So a lot of great films are never really recognized critically. And it's really a shame. And she makes that point. But um, more than that, um, she talked about her... Um, interview with Vulture, which, um, in the words of the article, became an instantly iconic interview. I mean, whoa. I mean, this thing went viral, right? And um, she um, uh, talks about the legal levels of shade on Elizabeth Taylor. I mean, you know, she's, a, she's just blamed for everything, including the, uh, the uh, failure of um, that big budget film that nearly busted a, um, a film company, Cleopatra. Remember that? Well, no, you don't remember that. You weren't born yet, but yeah, just look it up. Uh, she she got the blame. Her former co-star Nicolas Cage. She talks about him, and apparently he's not such a good guy. Now, when uh, Kathleen Turner did. Peggy Sue Got Married, don't you love that title? Um, it was done by Francis Ford Coppola, you know? One of the great gods of Hollywood, Francis Ford Coppola. And indeed, he's done a lot of great things. However, he put his nephew in this film as Kathleen Turner's co-star. Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage is, did I say it already? Is the nephew of Francis Ford Coppola. As a matter of fact, uh, the first name that uh, Nicolas Cage used in films was Nicolas Coppola. <laughs> he changed it though to hide to hide his identity as as having this kind of way that he got in. You know, I I enjoyed a lot of Nicolas Cage's films, but mm, here more recently I've been taking on you know other issues with him, and maybe they aren't some of my best remembered films. Well, Peggy Sue Got Married, I never really thought about it until I read about uh, Kathleen Turner's uh, point of view. And uh, she says that um, no matter what she said, uh, she realized that because she was a female, it didn't really matter. And any time that Nicolas Cage would say anything as an actor, a man, people go, wow, how, how decisive. Women are seen as pesty and men are seen as 
um, decisive over the same thing, over the similar comments. And uh, she doesn't really like it. And she said the movie was basically about a, a Peggy Sue who goes to a high school reunion in 1986, has a heart attack, and slips back into 1960 when um, uh, she was a, a senior in high school, graduating and meeting and romancing Nicolas Cage. And so the question was, uh, if you could go back and redo your past, would you? What would you do differently? That's a classic question, and, and that, well, that was the question that drives this film. And um, basically at the end, she decides to make the same choices because of her kids, like she wouldn't have her kids, she didn't marry this man, and uh, marries them all over again. That's how the movie ends. So uh, she puts aside her career, her interests, and all that to have kids and to raise them. Um, she loves them much, but the point is, men don't have to do that. And um, in the uh, movie, you know, the, the script points out that Nicolas Cage doesn't have the best of talents, but, uh, and she has the superior talents, but uh, that, irregardless, he gets the nod and she doesn't. And uh, they all live happily ever after, doing the same old thing again. Well, anyway, it was just interesting to hear her uh, point of view uh, about even her movie that is really quite charming. Peggy Sue Got Married. Yep. And um, classic movie. But it tells a story that is uh, male typical. Yes, it does. And uh, so actually I'm glad that she set me straight. I, I had never really thought about um, Kathleen Turner or uh, Peggy Sue um, from that perspective. I, I'm um, dumbfounded. Of course, I'm a male. So why wouldn't I be, you know? And she is the IDGAF queen. Yeah. Well, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm David the Bruce. Visual Hollywood.